Hello guys, welcome back to my Premier League predictions and welcome back to a brand new video. So obviously this week is the midweek lot of fixtures, I can't quite remember what week we're on, but there is some big news breaking and it has broke over the past couple of hours and that is Chelsea have sacked Frank Lampard. So does that mean then when they go up against Wolverhampton this week, uh, this midweek, it could make a big difference to the result? But anyway, guys, let's get straight into these predictions. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a little big crop fun up. You enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, Crystal Palace versus West Ham. Crystal Palace, um, I don't think they played this week because of the FA Cup. They got knocked out the last round. West Ham United seem to be a team this season that really do keep on wanting to improve. You know, they're not... You know, they're not too inconsistent, if you know what I mean. They're, re they're ready to go and get results. I think West Ham will win this week. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Leeds United. Now, Leeds United losing to Brighton and yet again not playing this weekend because they're, you know, probably not to have the FA Cup. I think Newcastle did play this weekend. I'm not too sure. But you're looking at... Have two teams very much at the same end of the table now uh, with the likes of Leeds and Newcastle. I think this will end as a draw and I think this would be a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one, and it is one of my live match reaction games, so feel free to come over to the channel and watch my live match reaction while the game's going on. It's Southampton versus Arsenal. Now, I know this game was the FA Cup game and I know... Southampton won one nil, and um, very much deserved over the ninety minutes. I, you know, really believe that Southampton deserved the win. Also, on the other hand, are oh, in a bit of a dip of performance over the past couple of weeks. I mean, Arteta started to get the club going, and then they've just gone now into a big sort of dip. And um, unfortunately, it's a long sort of time. The bottom teams want to start picking up points now because now it's a crucial time. For survival um, more than like March, April time. So I'm going to go for a Southampton win again. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Southampton win. I think Southampton might just edge this one uh, on their performances. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Manchester City. West Bromwich Albion, trying to sum them up in more ways than one. Who are trying to sign? Um, I know Sam Allardyce sort of went at the media when I asked this question because he said that you don't know how many players we've got on our books, you don't know how many players we're trying to sign. That may be, but we're going up against Manchester City who for the first time this season before the United win, I can't remember who United beat, but they went top of the table. The top four looks very tasty now with the likes of Liverpool, Leicester, Man City and Man United. Man City will win this game uh, and I'll go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Aston Villa. Now, Burnley are outside the relegation zone can't quite remember where they are in the table, but I do know they're out, outside the relegation zone. It's going to be interesting on the matter of fact of, you know, Villa are, you know, doing ever so well this season. Um, but Burnley have proved it this season. I can't remember who they beat at home. I think it's Man City. Uh, you know, that Burnley can play at home. I do think that Villa will take this one, though. After, you know, Man City did win the previous weekend against Villa. Offside goal, uh, controversial wall in the game. Does that need to be challenged? That's my question to you. I'm going to go for a Villa win. And I'm just thinking they're going to edge it by two goals to nil. My next one is Chelsea versus Wolverhampton. Now, as I said, Chelsea have sat Frank Lampard. Going into this game... Obviously, no fans are allowed to attend to the stadiums as yet. This could really be 
a sort of a no man takes charge and no contact, no man with the mentality. Or would it go to Wolverhampton, who, you know, ain't had the best of seasons so far, but they're doing what they need to do to stay in there. This could only be one thing. Um, I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-off scoreline for that one. My next one, and it will be another live reaction game on my channel, is Brighton over Albion versus Fulham. This game is so big down the bottom, I cannot describe how big this game is. From the Brighton front, but then also from the Fulham front, and I'll tell you about both ways now. So, if Brighton win this game, I think they go seven points clear of the drop zone. But, if Fulham win this game, and put it down to a point, they have got one game in hand over Brighton. This game is so big down the bottom, I can, as I said, it really is going to be a good game. Um, if you know that I do start doing live reactions quite recently, I did do the Brighton Blackpool game, and after thinking about it and you know seeing what's seeing, you know Grandpa having a go up the zoom up, I weren't too happy with that Brighton game. Brighton gonna have to come out and fight like I did against the Leeds United. Fulham, I think, are playing some really good football at the minute. I think Fulham are too good to go down the way we're playing at the minute. If they do go down, then I don't think they really deserve it. I'm going to go a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Leicester City. Everton beating Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup and Leicester beating Brentford away from home in the FA Cup uh, after going one goal down. So both of these teams have played in the FA Cup over the previous weekend. Same as the Brighton Fulham. Um, this game I think is going to be a very interesting game from both parties. So I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester United versus Sheffield United. Man United versus Sheffield United. Both teams done different ends of the table. Sheffield United right down the bottom. Man United sit at the top of the table. This game could, you know, basically in my mind only go one way. But I think it's going to be one of them games where you go one way and it goes the other. So I'm going to stick my neck out on the line, I think, for this one, because I can actually see it happening, even though how much I don't want it to. I'm going to go for... Do I go for a Sheffield United win or a draw? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one, and I will be doing another live match reaction on my channel, is Tottenham versus Liverpool. Um, Liverpool, uh, how did, I, I lost to Man United in the cup, I just remember that. Tottenham are still yet to play in the cup, so I can't really talk about them in the cup yet because they haven't played. But Liverpool are on a bit of a down number with the likes of goals and you know stuff like that. I got to Old Trafford, which is very, you know, surprising by Liverpool, but fair play for Liverpool for doing that. But I think Tottenham are going to win this game, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. You'll have a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.